No, simple answer is you can't. I don't believe that you can confirm a Mary Sue by looks. Please understand that this video is my opinion and whether you agree with it or disagree with it, either or, that is okay. So Google actually says that a Mary Sue is a type of female character who is depicted as unrealistically lacking in flaws or weaknesses. And I really agree with that cut and dry kind of response, especially how I defined a Mary Sue nowadays. But back then, younger me had a different approach to defining a Mary Sue. Back in the day, I defined a Mary Sue as if somebody had outlandish looks. So if they had a crazy color palette or immense sex appeal or everybody liked him, yada yada yada, that to me was one of the three traits that I defined as a Mary Sue when I was younger. Two, if they somehow mystically had blood relation with a canon character who didn't have any other family members or whatever, that to me was like, oh, you're breaking canon. That is a Mary Sue thing to do. Mary Sue, Gary Stu, whatever. So that means you're Mary Sue. That was the second thing that I defined as a Mary Sue. Younger me did. And lastly, of course, and I'm pretty sure a lot of this, people know this one, but a crazy power level. If you had a crazy power level of whatever, or if you were in a series that didn't have like mystical powers or crap and you were just super rich for no reason or something, then yeah, that to me was like defining as a Mary Sue. So those were my three go-tos way back in the day when I thought of what is a Mary Sue or how I defined as a Mary Sue. Well, fast forward. And being a lot older now, I actually ask myself, what if? What if? And in fact, this actually helped me be a lot more lenient on when I look at other people's characters, when I look at other, you know, things that they have done or created for a series and so on and so forth. It's helped me realize, you know what? Maybe, maybe they're not a Mary Sue just from looks alone. And I like to tell myself the what if situation, the what if scenarios. What if you had a character with crazy ass looks or amazing sex appeal? What if this character actually was related to this canon character who never actually knew or something, or they do know, or who knows? What if they had a crazy power level? Anytime I come across fan characters for any series, it's so nice to try to tell myself, hold up, before you get all judgmental me, what if? And think of it as an alternate timeline. An alternate timeline of, okay, so in the canon series, this is obviously a timeline where my character doesn't exist, and that is okay. But, um, it makes me still think about back then, way back in the day, I had somebody come to me. Um, we're gonna call her Jenna. Jenna came to me on DA with a Pokemon trainer character. And she came to me for advice of, is this character a Mary Sue? I gave her advice the best of my ability, and at the end of it, she was actually really happy. She was excited. She was so glad that her character didn't seem to come off as a Mary Sue. And then another person commented on Jenna's Pokemon Trainer character and said, yeah, no, the person that you were previously talking with was obviously too nice to tell you that your character is a Mary Sue. And the biggest reason why this person basically told Jenna that your character is a Mary Sue is because Jenna, her Pokemon trainer character, had a legendary shiny Mew in their roster. And that was like a big no-no for this other person. And kind of at the time, that was a big no-no for me as well, but I tried to tell myself, you know what, let them have that shiny Mew and just look at more of who this Pokemon Trainer character is and not what they have and kind of go more into that what-if situation. But I still remember that to this day, and I can only imagine how Jenna must have felt getting that feedback and being like, oh, I was so happy about this, and now I look at my stuff and... Oh my goodness, my Pokemon trainer is a Mary Sue because they have a shiny Mew. I mean, if you think that's a Mary Sue trait, 
Okay, fine. And if you don't think that's a Mary Sue trait, that's cool too. Personally, me, again, I like to ask myself, what if? What if that trainer had a legendary shiny Mew? What kind of adventures would they come across? What kind of difficulties? What kind of struggles? How did they meet this shiny legendary Mew? Yada, 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 yada. So, nevertheless, at the end of the day, girl, from DA that I'm claiming as Jenna, if you are ever watching this video and you like having a trainer that has a shiny blue Mew, keep the shiny blue Mew. Have it. Enjoy it. Have fun. So, that goes into today. What I define as a Mary Sue today, again, I will reiterate, a Mary Sue to me is not defined by looks. They're not defined by looks. They're defined by their character their story. To me, nowadays, I tell myself a Mary Sue is someone who can overcome any situation easily with no consequences. Little to no consequences. That to me is Mary Sue. So I don't care if you look like some bang bodacious babe or whatever, had the most glamorous looks, glamorous appeal, or related to somebody in the canon series that wasn't established prior, yada 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 yada. If you have a character that can overcome situations to attain their goals with little to no struggle and have no consequences, then that to me is like, no, now you're kind of breaching on Mary Sue territory. So again, that's why I'm like, no, you can't define a Mary Sue by looks. No. <laughs> How did this all come about? Why am I rambling about this? Akemi, why are you talking about this? Why are you going on about this? And if you can't tell, I am drawing in the background a character of mine who is named Cotton. And if you have been up to date with me, you know exactly who this is for, but I'll go ahead and reiterate. Cotton is my fan character for the upcoming Has Been Hotel series. And the biggest reason I was afraid to submit her on Twitter, was even afraid to draw her digitally, is because I thought to myself, oh my god. People are going to hate her just because she's a jackalope. I, I, I thought that. I told myself that people are going to say that she's a Mary Sue for this series because she's a jackalope. And that almost made me not submit. And then I told myself, okay, you know what? <laughs> we only live once. Here we go. Here's my character. Here's the tweet. I'm going to pull up. There it is. There's the tweet. And surprisingly I got a lot of positive feedback from that and I can't tell you how nice it was and how like wrong I realized how wrong I was when I realized oh maybe people don't necessarily do that anymore maybe the whole Mary Sue war from my childhood kind of has changed and really no longer exists I don't fully know but at the end, I was so happy to show Cotton to the world, show her this is kind of how she looks like, and I got a lot of positive feedback from it, and it made me happy. So, if for those of you out there watching this video are looking at my character and be like, Oh yeah, she's a Mary Sue because she's a jackalope. You know what? You don't know my character. You don't know how they are and how I write them to be. And at the end of the day, that is your opinion, and I don't have to accept your opinion, which I don't. So you know what? Goodbye. Goodbye. Again, this all follows the nice good old moral of you can't judge a book by its cover. So please don't. That's rude. It's mean. And it makes me so happy that when I posted Cotton on Twitter, I was given such an amazing positive feedback, such a well reception, people liked her, somebody went out of their way, I, I can't remember your Twitter name right now, I'm gonna put you up on screen over here, this, this person over here, yes, them, yes, they, them, mm -hmm. they went ahead and they made a basically a fan dub, like, um, what their voice, uh, what their voice actor would be, or kind of what their voice would be, and, I watched it and I had a huge surge of, I now want to animate Cotton. Just make her animated for just the hell of it. And I just might. 
you know, be on the lookout for that. There might be some animated cotton in the future. I don't know when or where, but, you know, got a lot of other stuff on my plate. But anyway, it made me so happy, and thank you so much for that. I appreciated that. It was just such a nice feeling. But yes, end of the day, can you confirm a Mary Sue by looks? And I say, nay, nay. Nay, nay, my friends. You cannot. So... Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. I had a lot of fun drawing this. If you can't see, the final picture is over here. Thank you so much. And remember, everybody, be awesome. Be you. Akemi, out.